Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. So we hit 1000 subscribers which is just absolutely amazing. Even though we have hit a massive milestone on my channel this year, I do feel like I have slacked a lot in my content. I have so many videos I'm really excited to share with you guys, starting off with this one. So I'm going to be showing you how I created this festive Christmassy look. I have done a few Christmassy looks in the past. The first year I did a Cindy Lou Who makeup tutorial which is from The Grinch. And then the second one I did was the Mrs. Claus makeup look which I did last Last year I think, last year, if not the year before, which is crazy because I feel like I've not long done it. Do subscribe to my channel to keep up with all the videos following from this one today. And yeah, I feel like that's everything I need to say for this intro, so without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So let's go. So for my primer, I'm going to be taking this, I think it's Nooks Paris, Nooks, not sure, but I got this one in my recent Birch box, which I no longer am subscribed to. I am planning on doing a glossy box unboxing in unboxing and unboxing haul for December because I heard the box is so good and it's coming today so hopefully I can actually film this and upload this tomorrow so now that's all blended into my face I'm now going to be using a pre glow up mist it's just going to add a nice glow to my skin and just add a little bit of sparkle to this Christmassy makeup look give it a good little shake because it does tend to kind of sit well at the bottom it's blended so I'm just going to leave that all to kind of sink into my skin a little bit. So now that it's all set into my skin, the next product I'm going to be using is this Barry M Chisel Cheeks Contour Cream Kit, which looks a little bit like this, I'll get there in the end. And what I'm going to be doing is taking this orange tone right at the back here, and it's going to do that to fill underneath my bags and cover any red spots and stuff over my face. I'm going to use my finger for this because I cannot find my brush that I normally apply this with. So fingers it is. So I'm just going to pat this underneath my eye. This is just going to fill in that blueness from my bags. I do this so that the foundation just sits a lot more nicer over it. I'm just covering any blemishes and spots. So now that I've covered up my bags a little bit and a few of those little spots, I'm going to be taking this cream concealer again with my fingers because I haven't got my brush. And I'm just going to use this just to kind of go over that orange so it doesn't look too orange underneath my eyes and just really brighten up the inner corners a little bit more as you can see let me know down in the comment section below what your favorite christmas movie is mine definitely has to be the grinch i absolutely love it i love the meaning of it and i just love jim carrey in it i didn't even know jim carrey was the actor of it until like four or five years ago and I just could not believe it and it just made so much sense that he was. I just love all the quotes, I love the little dog Max, I love everything about it, the hoovalation, I love the part where they feed him like tons of food and he just like has to kind of take it all. I love it when he's just like wallowing in self-pity. Yeah, I just love it, it's just such a great film and I just look forward to watching it every year. I remember there was a year, a couple of years back now, where I didn't watch The Grinch throughout the whole of Christmas. Like, I just didn't watch it that year, which is just crazy to me, because I watch it every single year. But I can really remember that I never sat down and watched it. I think we never had the DVD and it wasn't on TV that year. I'm not 100% sure what happened, and I was so gutted, because I just didn't feel like Christmas was complete without watching The Grinch. Anyway, going in with some cream contour, I'm taking the Collection Contour and cream thing and this one is in a shade called deep i'm just going to use this in the usual areas that i contour so my cheeks forehead nose and a little bit of my chin and to blend this in i'm using a foundation brush this one is from real techniques i always use this one to blend in my cream contour my mum recently put in our group chat like we have a family group chat um called christmas something something about christmas and she was asking us what our favorite christmas song is and to be honest i've never actually thought about it i don't know if i have like a favorite favorite but i really like the like old-fashioned ones i have a playlist on spotify and i absolutely love listening to i think it's called christmas hits i just love anything that's kind of like reminds you of being around family and fun and christmasy i don't know i don't really have a favorite and i couldn't really name one now the group chat is called christmas is coming so looking at chat my mum's and my brother's favourite song is Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree by Brenda Lee, which is a 1960s hit. Um, so yeah, I feel like the older kind of songs of Christmas are the best kind. I don't know why, but I just feel like they are more connected to Christmas. And I just like the sound of it. I just love the vintage sound. Um, a lot of the Christmassy ones now are kind of like repeats of those or like remakes. And I just don't, I don't know. I don't have a favourite. I just love 
hearing a playlist of Christmas music. And that's really it. Let me know what yours is. Yeah, I don't know why I don't have one, but yeah, I love Christmas, so I love everything about it. Don't have a favourite song. Have a favourite film, but not a favourite song. So that is my contour all set into place. I'm now going to be going on top of that with a foundation. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 100. And again, I'm just going to apply this to the back of my hand. Just a little blob like that for now. And I'm going to blend that in with my beauty blender. I'm going to be honest, I don't really know what direction I'm going to be going in with this makeup tutorial. I kind of want to make it really Christmassy and do a theme, but I'm not sure. I don't actually have like an end goal for this. I'm just kind of going with the flow. Before I set in all of my contour and concealer with the powder versions like I normally do, I'm going to be going in with my eyeshadow. So for the eyeshadow today I've got a mixture of palettes. So does Nails Revolution palette and then I've also got two of the Roxaurus Revolution collab palettes as well. I've got the colour burst and the contour and highlighting palette. So I've got a lot to play with. So first of all I'm going to be taking my Sof Does Nails palette. I have kind of broken the lid off this. I've had it for a bit of a while now. So I'm going to be taking this taupe shade right here. I love this colour just because it kind of just sits on my eyelid nicely and it doesn't look too bold of a statement. So when I'm going for like a very limited makeup kind of look I would apply this to my eyelids and then a bit of mascara and out I go. If I'm creating a Christmassy kind of look just using this one, um, I'm going to be going in with this orangey shade right here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there it is. Let's have a quick look at the Roxaurus palette. Oh my god, it looks amazing. Look how many different colours there are. So nice. I feel like I'm going to go in with the Bang Bang colour here, which is like a nice orangey shade again, just to really bring out that orange tone. Taking the same palette, I'm going to be going in with this red shade at the bottom here. I tell you what, looking at my eyes now, I've got a bit of orange going on, I've got a bit of like a yellow undertone to it, I've got the red. I'm kind of feeling, with these colours here, I'm going to go for like a Christmas rainbowy, like Christmas light kind of look. Have a little bit of each colour in there um, and see how that looks because I'm kind of really feeling the colourful look today. So I feel like I'm going to go in with a blue shade next. I'm taking a smaller angled brush because I want to do this sort of in the inner corner of my eye and this is the smallest one I've got at the moment. I'm going to blend that out towards the orange. It's going to be really smoky. I don't want the colours to be too bold. I kind of just want it to blend and sit nicely together without being too much of a big, bold statement. So I'm going in now with this green dinosaur shade. And this is just going to go right next to the blue and in the centre of my crease. Oh, this is so tacky, but I really like it. I don't know why. I love it. I don't know why, I just absolutely love it. I feel like it just looks like fuzzy, bouquet light that I would capture on my camera. All blended nicely. A little bit artsy. I really like it. And now I'm going to take this lemonade shade right here, a nice yellow. I'm going to apply that right next to the green to blend out that red towards the green a little bit better. And then taking that red velvet shade again, I'm just going to blend all those colours back out through my crease. So for my eyebrows, I don't normally apply any product to them. I'm currently trying to grow them out into a nice natural feather brow. I kind of want to get them done after Christmas. I want to get them done before, but they haven't quite grew out the way I wanted to yet. So I'm going to leave it a couple of more weeks to do that. I just want to really have a good restyle of my eyebrows. So yeah, at the moment I just kind of brush through my eyebrows. The only product I use is a little bit on the outer, kind of on the arch of my brow. But I'm not going to do that today. Um, what I'm going to be doing is applying my Benefit um, Gimme Brow, which is kind of like a nice mascara brush. And I'm going to use that just to fill it in a little bit of product and kind of set my eyebrows in this kind of shape. This one is in the shade blonde, which is perfect because it just doesn't add too much colour to my brows. So that is all I do for my eyebrows, nothing special about it. It doesn't get any more complicated than that, if I'm being honest. So now to set underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using this banana setting powder, which again I picked up in my glossy box, I think. And all I do for this is I tip a little bit out into the lid like that. My hands always look so big on camera, I don't know why. Dab the brush, 
tap off the excess again and then just pat that underneath my eyes and this just sets in that concealer from earlier that I first applied and just really brightens up the inner corner of my eye. I'm gonna be honest this is the first year I do not have like an opening advent calendar like a chocolate or anything like that. This is my calendar that I have and it's literally just a Christmas tree. Every day I would just move the token from one to the other and that is literally my calendar this year. Josh just has a normal chocolate advent calendar because he doesn't eat vegan food like me or vegetarian, but yeah, he doesn't follow the same diet as me, so he has a chocolate one. My mum made a good suggestion actually of getting like a present one where you can open up like a different gift every day, like a perfume or like a makeup product, stuff like that, but I didn't even think about that. I just kept thinking that advent calendars are chocolate, but you know, I've seen loads like Lego ones, there's so many different variations out there that I didn't know of, so I would definitely do that next year. So yeah, as you can see behind me, I just do a little demo. This is my Christmas tree here. I always have the same colors, like gold, reds, greens. I just feel like it's just a nice Christmassy, traditional color to have at home. It just makes you feel more Christmassy when you have that kind of color going on around you. This little cracker here, I've had on my tree since I was about 12. Like in my bedroom, I used to have a packet of crackers and every year I would just reuse the same two. I've got another one in there, but I don't know where it is. Kind of hidden in the tree somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's my Christmas tree. I've got my table here, which I'll be having my Christmas dinner on, on Christmas day. And yeah, I've got like some banners going on now. It's all getting a little bit more crazy. I'm invested more in my Christmas decorations. I just love them. And now that I've kind of done my eyes, set them underneath with the powder and everything, I'm gonna be taking my Benefit Bad Gal Bang Bang Mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. It really brings out my eyelashes. It's just so good. I love it. So that is it for my eyes. I'm not gonna do anything more or anything less to them now. Um, I'm gonna set in my contour that I used at the beginning with some powder. I always do that after a cream. So to set in my contour, I'm gonna be taking the Sleek Contour Blush and Highlighting Palette. So now for a little bit of blush, again taking this palette here. So for the first time, I'm going to be taking the Roxaurus Contour and Highlighting Palette, which looks like this. I'm going to be taking this bright gold shimmery shade here. I always put a little bit on my Cupid's bow as well. And that is my highlighter done. So I feel like to set off this Christmassy look, you cannot do this without a nice red bold lip. So to line my lips, first of all, I'm going to be taking the Lord & Berry in the shade Devil Red. And this one I picked up in my glossy box for the Halloween edition. So now that my lips are lined, I'm going in with a matte lipstick. This one is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Rico, Rico, something like that, and looks like this. And that is my lips complete. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not happy with the colour. It is a bit dark to what I had in mind, but it will do. So now I'm gonna go off and get myself all glammed up with my hair, and I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I have finished my hair, I've added a cute little Christmas hat thing to kind of, you know, set off the theme with. I've got my winter warmers on, ready to go and do my Christmas shopping afterwards. So yeah, this is my Christmas festive look. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching me bring this look together. And again, thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers on my channel. It's absolutely amazing. And I cannot believe I actually reached this milestone. Perfect, just in time for Christmas. If you did like this video, don't forget to give this a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my 12 days of Royal Vakora. I will be uploading all the way up until Christmas Day or Boxing Day. I am planning on vlogging my whole entire Christmas Day for you guys this year. So hopefully I will have that up by Boxing Day. If not, the 27th of December at the latest. So hopefully my videos will spread out all the way up until then. I feel like I kind of owe it to you guys to do that. So do make sure you are subscribed to keep up with all those videos. So yeah, that's all for me today. I'm off to do some Christmas shopping. So I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.